Hi SQL folks, here is a very quick tutorial on how to download and install SQL Server 2022 on-premises edition. Ah, on-premises is not an edition, on-premises is a flavor. So we'll see which edition we are going to install. I was actually setting up a new VM, a new virtual machine in Hyper-V and I thought while I do this, why not record this video? So this is going to be a very straightforward tutorial where I am going to search in Google for SQL Server 2022 download and then uh, register myself and then download the exe file and then uh, which in turn will download the, uh, the ISO image file and then we are going to mount it and then we'll do the installation so uh, this is going to be a step-by-step -step thing and I'm going to pause this video I'm going to pause it and resume it because of course download is going to take time and I don't want you to you know I don't want the video to be running while the download happens that's that's going to be waste of your time so we are going to uh, so I'm going to stop and pause stop and pause so that the video is very short and crisp and we are going to do this from scratch. So just like everyone else does it, I am on Google and I type in SQL Server 2022 download, which gives me a few result sets here. So I'm going to click on SQL Server downloads on this link in front of you there. Clicking on this takes me to this page where you see different flavors of SQL Server like SQL Server on Azure, SQL Server at the edge and I am keen on this one, SQL Server on premises. When I click on download here, I have to first register. So I'm going to click on this and it takes me to SQL Server 2022 trial page. So before you download SQL Server 2022, you got to register. So punch in all the details that Microsoft needs from you, which is your name, company, email size, job role, phone number, and whatnot. And then you can click on download now. When uh, you click on download now, it is going to download a, a, an exe file, an executable file. So that executable file I've put in this location. Uh, I just created a folder here. Uh, where is that? Okay, let me just bring it from another monitor. There you go. In my local uh, drive there, C20, SQL Server 2022, where is it? Let me just paste this here. There I get it. SQL Server 2022 and that's the evaluation uh, exe. So let's double click this now. This is a very short executable, just about 4 MB. So let's double click this and it tells me, yes, do, you, do I want to install? Yes. And now we have the wizard. So we have like basic custom and I am going to choose this option, download media. I think these ones are like the exe itself installs on your local machine, but I am more keen on downloading the installation media so that I have the full installation file and I'm not probably assuming that I'm not dependent on internet, right? So I'm going to download the ISO image and then I'm going to mount it uh, uh, in a virtual machine, in a Windows uh, server virtual machine, and then I'm going to install whatever I want. So this is what I'm going to do. So I click on download media and yes, language English, and I'm going to download the ISO file. So that's the total size out there. And this is the path, the download location. So I'm going to just copy this. I'm going to put this in the same location. Let's browse and okay, that's a, let's go to this PC and let's jump over to C drive. And in C drive, I have SQL Server 2022 folder. Let's select this. And then we are going to click on download. Okay, so the installation media is being downloaded now. The internet seems to be pretty fast. So this download is just going to complete in a while. Anyway, I am going to pause this and I will resume again uh, once this download completes. Okay, stay tuned. All right, the download has completed. Uh, we have the ISO file now here that you can see. Let's just zoom in quickly to show you. This is SQL Server 2022 ISO file and it's about a GB. So this is downloaded. Okay, just to let you know on the previous step, the wizard that was there, it would just complete, the download will complete and it will just tell you download successful and you can just click on okay and close the wizard. That's pretty much it. You have the ISO file now. And as uh, mentioned earlier, now I am going to mount this ISO file in a Hyper-V virtual machine. Let's do that. So here I am going to switch on 
Hyper-V. I already have a VM, virtual machine, um, with Windows Server, I think Windows Server 2016 or something maybe, and it has SQL Server 2019. That's how I've named it. So I'm going to install SQL Server 2022 uh, in this existing VM. So we have to mount the ISO file first. Let's do that. Right click on this VM, go to settings. And in the settings, I am going to click on SCSI controller and I'm going to add another one. So this time I am going to choose a DVD drive. So let's go and select DVD drive, click on add. And then here in this uh, dialog box, I'm going to select image file. Let's browse the image file that we have downloaded in C drive, SQL Server 2022. And here is the ISO file that we have just downloaded. Click on open and click on apply and then OK. OK, so now this means that we have to switch on this virtual machine and this is what I'm going to do. Let's click on start. Now, after the virtual machine uh, begins and when, when we log in, we turn it on and we log in, uh, you will find that there will be a DVD drive now. There will be a drive letter, maybe D or E or whatever, whatever, whatever drive letter we get. And we will get the ISO file for SQL Server 2022. And in that ISO file, of course, we're going to run the setup and install SQL Server 2022 in this VM. Okay, let's go and log in. So I'm going to connect and um, yeah, this is going to just run this in full screen. There we go. Loading, booting, okay, here we let's enter the password, which I'm not going to tell you. Okay, there it loads. We probably may get a opening dialog box of this uh, VM server manager. Yes, let's just quickly close that. And now, Inside this, we have in, okay, there, this is what I was talking about. So you can see we have the C drive, which is the default uh, drive there. And this is the one that we mounted, DVD drive SQL Server 2022. So let's go and select this. And this is where we are. Now we are going to run setup.exe and choose whatever we want to install and get it done. Okay, so I'm going to pause here and resume in the next part. Okay, let's start the setup process. Double click on setup.exe, which will bring up the SQL Server 2022 installation wizard. This is the opening page, the installation center. And this seems to be pretty similar to what we see, what we have seen in previous versions. Not much change. So you have all the documentation stuff here on the planning uh, section. Then let's jump over to the installation section. A lot of things that you can do here, uh, install the tools, install SQL Server data tools, the reporting services and whatnot. What we want to do is do a standalone installation of SQL Server 2022 or maybe add remove features to an existing installation. So let's click on this first link. Clicking on this first link, uh, link will now start the wizard. Let's just wait. There you go. So let's start choosing the options that we have. Specify a free edition. What do you really want to do? Are you evaluating? Are you just learning and trying out different things? Let's pick up developer edition because the developer edition will not have an expiration, right? So, I mean, uh, it won't expire. If you take the evaluation edition, it will expire within 180 days. I mean, after 180 days. So let's take the developer edition and um, you have other options which you can explore for learning developer is good let's accept the terms and conditions you have to do that otherwise you won't be able to proceed forward product updates uh, this vm is not connected to the internet so it's not um, going to uh, uh, do any uh, check for any updates here we can do that later so let's move forward it will install the required setup files let's just wait for a few seconds for this to complete Mm-hmm. Installing setup files. Okay, there you go. All seems okay, except that there is a uh, Windows firewall warning, which is pretty standard stuff. It just will, uh, if you click on this, it's asking you to open up the ports that are required and you can read the documentation. Let's move forward. Here comes the Azure extension for SQL Server. If you wish to uh, uh, have your on-premises 
um, uh, linked up with Azure, um, the cloud uh, thing. So um, that's not my cup of tea. So I'm just going to uncheck that and move forward. In feature selection is where you will decide what you really want to install. I am only focused on the database engine and uh, the database engine performance tuning stuff. So I don't really need uh, all this machine learning stuff and full text as of now, shared features, etc. is also not what my requirement is. Maybe I can add all of this later. As of now, I will just take up the database engine. So I've checked that. Let's move forward. Feature rules on the next page. Please wait. Okay. Waiting waiting okay there you go instance default instance or named instance i told you earlier that we that i already have a sql server 2019 instance here so i'm going to call it sql maestros 2022 just a name like it's a sql 2022 instance and that gives me the instance id sql maestros 2022 all good there and let's move next Server configuration. I think this will be about authentication, like what, what kind of authentication we want, like maybe SQL Server authentication or mixed uh, win, uh, mixed authentication, which is along with Windows authentication. Those kind of options probably will come up now. Okay, yeah, that's your service account. This also, these things can be done later. Collision is all default, which is fine. Uh, password automatic, okay. All default, good. This is where database engine configuration is where the authentication thing comes up. So let's take mixed mode. I'll just enter the password there. Okay, and add the current Windows administrator as SQL Server administrators. There are a few more tabs here, like the data directories, which is again, default is good. Then you have tempdb and you know from some um, from which versions I don't remember, but then you start getting this configuration option as to how many data files do you want with TempDB, and I think it picks up eight because we have uh, I have uh, eight uh, cores, eight virtual processors in this VM, and I think that's the minimum to begin with. Then you have max DOP option now in installation, so this sets to that sets the max DOP to eight, which is good, one per virtual processor. And you should read a few more things here. Memory, which is min and max. These are the things that you can set during installation, which is not a bad thing. Um, these these were some of the things that we used to do like post uh, installation, some of those immediate tasks after the installation is complete. So so we are, we are good with the defaults as of now. Let's move forward. Configuration rules. Okay, this just gives you a summary of what you have chosen all this while and which looks all sim simple and now we are ready to install so you can just click on install and now the installation has begun i don't know how much time this is going to take maybe of course a few minutes so yes uh, let's pause the video now and once the installation is complete i will come back again yeah all right while the installation was going on i had a quick shower and the installation is done so this says computer restart required. One or more affected files have operations pending. You must restart for the setup to complete. Okay, let's do that. So we'll click on okay here and let's wait for the wizard to come back again. This page, mm -hmm. okay. Looks like everything that we wanted to do is has all succeeded. So this is the log file that has been generated. It makes sense sometimes to just kind of go through that. But anyways, everything looks good. Let's click on close. And I'll just wait. And close this as well close this and let's go and restart this now. Okay, there you go. And I'll be back. Let it restart and I'll be back. Okay, restart is done. Let's launch SQL Server Management Studio and let's add the new instance that we have installed, the instance of SQL Server 2022. So I have the SQL Server Management Studio here. I mean, this looks like an old uh, version, which is 18. And I'm of course going to update the client tools as well. Okay, first let's go and okay, I've, uh, 
let's just do the default one. This is the default instance. This is SQL Server 2019. So you can see from here version 15. And now I am going to connect the database engine and SQL Maestro slash, let's just paste SQL Maestro's 2022. So this is the named instance, right? SQL Maestro's is the server name backslash SQL Maestro's 2022. That's the instance name that we gave, if you remember during installation. Let's go and connect. Gets connected quickly and you can clearly see the version 16, which is SQL Server 2022. And you may want to verify this by that typical global variable at the rate, at the rate version. So uh, let's just simply do this, yeah, okay. There you go, SQL Server 2022 version 16. What are we going to do next? I mean, not in this video, but what I will do next uh, for learning purposes and what you might also want to do is of course, update the client tools, run an update on Windows and with SQL Server and you know, all those cumulative updates and any kind of patching that is required. You may want to update the client tools, which is SQL Server Management Studio. And if you're using like Azure Data Studio and whatnot, if you're using some of those things. And then I will also install the user databases, right? I mean, for learning purposes, et cetera. These are the things that you would like to do. Okay, friends, so this video is done. This was just a tutorial, just a very straightforward recording of installing SQL Server 2022. I mean, of course, we haven't talked anything about performance tuning, query tuning and optimization, which is what we do in this channel all the time. But yeah, just thought that while I do this, why not record the video? And hopefully this was a straightforward learning for you. And I hope this helps you. Happy SQL.